Hey, do you know that pumpkin soup originated in France? Good to know. Well, if you want to impress your guest, you're gonna have to use the best pumpkin varieties out there. Among them, red curry squash, sugar pie squash, and honey nut squash. Guess what? I use them all. First, you wanna clean out your pumpkins using wet pepper towels. Then cut in half, scrape out the seeds and the fibrous parts. And save this caviar for the stock. You'll see why the addition of an excellent pumpkin stock is a game changer. And for the brunoise, I'm gonna use a couple of these. Honey nut squash. They are the best of the butternut family. Once harvested, honey nut squash is cured up to three weeks in a temperature-controlled seating, which allows for the sugars to condense within the flesh and the skin to harden. And peel until you see the flesh. So, I'm gonna turn honey nut squash into a wonderful garnish. And yet, trimmings go to the stock and flesh for the velouté. When cooked, honey nut squash is tender and creamy with a sweet nutty caramel and malt-like flavor. Slice cut into batonet and 3 mm dice. Doesn't have to be perfect though. To follow, I'm gonna mince some shallots and uh, I'm gonna put this aside and we're gonna take care of this later. Let's go back to the core of the soup. So I'm gonna add a couple of fruits. One pear, apple, and a half of an orange. Once roasted with the pumpkin and blended together, it will improve the texture and the taste of the final dish. I'm gonna add some fresh ginger as well and a garlic head split in half. And of course, scraps go to the stock. And by the way, to garnish your soup, you may want to save some of the pumpkin seeds and toast them in the oven. Here we go. Taste comes first. So you want to roast everything first. It will enrich the whole dish. So for that, you want to use a large oven-proof sautoir. Coat bottom with olive oil, salt, and throw in there the garlic, ginger, rosemary, bell leaf, pear, apple, orange, and top with the pumpkins. Tent with foil and throw in the oven and bake at 425 degrees Fahrenheit to 10 Celsius for 40 minutes. Meanwhile, I'm gonna make the garnishing and simply you want to saute the honey nut squash brunoise along with uh, the shallots, olive oil, salt and add a dash of dark brown sugar and saute for about 5 minutes. Add some heavy cream and reduce. Cool to room temperature and fill up half sphere silicone mold. Freeze for about two hours, then assemble into spheres and keep these beauties refrigerated until ready to serve. Well, I am just showing you a fancy way uh, for plating, but if you want to skip it, that's fine. All right, let's check the oven and see what's going on. So here, of course, it's not cooked yet. So you want to take advantage of the whole deal here. So I'm going to flip the pumpkins and grab what's underneath. The pear, apple, orange, ginger, garlic, herbs, and so on. And stuff the pumpkin halves with. And yet, you'll see why. By roasting everything first, put this dish to the next level. Now it's back in the oven for 30 to 40 minutes more. Look at that, Papa. That is gorgeous. So now it's pretty simple. You want to scrape the flesh out of the pumpkins. Though if you use the red curry squash variety, leave the skin on, it's edible. Squeeze the garlic out and again, save all the scraps and throw them in the stock. Herbs as well. Once done, we are going to be ready for the final step cooking the pumpkin soup or velouté and you want to use the same large roasting pan. I'm gonna throw in there some butter and add the chopped roasted mixture. Now, look at the stock, that's gold right there. Add it to the pumpkin mixture 
and complete with more veggie or chicken stock. Squeeze out the roasted orange juice and cook for 30 minutes covered. Now the pumpkin soup is ready to be mixed. For that, use a powerful blender and never fill the container up to the top, but rather make three or four batches in which you want to add a chunk of butter each time. You can use heavy cream instead, though I prefer giving a nice emulsion using butter in soups. You'll end up with a lighter texture without compromising the taste too much. That's what I am talking about. Sieve and continue till done. Back to the stove, bring to a boil and readjust seasoning. Salt, pepper. And then um, if it's too thick, you add more liquid. Water, stock, whatever you like. All right, let me taste this. Wow, wow, it's, it's amazing. Now plating. Place a honey nut squash sphere in the center and a generous amount of pumpkin velouté. Last touch up, black truffle oil. Just a few drops. Oops, I forgot the toasted pumpkin kernels. Voila! I hope guys, you have enjoyed this pumpkin velouté episode. To get the full recipe, go to brunoalbus.com. Don't forget to subscribe to my cooking channel and website and sign up to get your free ebook 10 classic French favorite recipes. We gotta try this out. Take a pic and tag me on Instagram at brunoalbus. Bon appétit, à bientôt.